Hi, you're watching Charter House TV and today we thought we'd introduce you to the Red Sea Reef Care Programme. So following on from the release of our last video, which introduced you to Red Sea's new reef dose dosing pump, we'd had a, we've had a lot of you guys get in touch asking if you are going to use a dosing pump, which elements you should use. Now, I'm not saying that Red Sea is the only elements out there. We, we sell lots of um, products from multiple brands that produce brilliant range of uh, additives and um, elements and conditioners to keep a happy marine aquarium. But looking at the Red Sea dosing pump, people were focusing on the Red Sea's reef care program. So less of a introduction, if you like, or more of just an overview, which gives you a brief understanding of how the reef care program actually works. And also, we did a giveaway in our last video where one of you lucky subscribers is going to win a reef dose dosing pump. So we're going to announce that at the end of this video, so make sure you watch till the end. Now, back to the reef care program. It's basically divided up into three main categories. The first one, which you can see here, is what Red Sea call their reef foundation products. And they are basically the main elements that you are going to need to have in your water column, in your aquarium, to ensure that your corals are happy, healthy and growing. Now, even if you're a beginner on your kind of reef keeping journey, you might be familiar with calcium, KH and alkalinity and magnesium. And Red Sea use those uh, titles A, B and C to build that basically foundation block of their reef care program. Yeah, and Red Sea make it easy for you in the respect that they make it in loads of different sizes as well. So they make up to these really big five litre um, containers so that you've got as much as you need for a really large system. They do 1000 mil bottles and 500 and even 250 mil bottles. They also make little starter kits for people as well when you're just starting out. Um, all of them, as we did touch on the video before now, come with a a dosing cap on the tops of the bottles so they can connect straight to your dosing pump, which makes it really easy to use. Um, and as Ryan said, this is your foundation or your building blocks for your reef aquarium. Once you've got that sorted and you know you're dosing the correct amounts, then you can move on to the next stage, which is the trace elements or colors. Um, and these are basically an element that you would add um, that help the corals grow, but also really color up your corals in your aquarium as well. Yeah, I see, and I think that this is, yeah, it's called foundation because it's what you need in your aquarium, what the corals need. But I think as Acris, we should treat it like that as yeah. well. Once you've got this kind of set up and it's working as it should be, obviously you need to know how much you're dosing and Red Sea do produce, or any brand really produces a range of kind of accurate test kits that will give you a reading that you can use regularly and work out the consumption of each of those elements yeah. and therefore you can work out what to dose. And once you've got that kind of worked out, then you can move on to, as Steve said, the colours. So you've got your corals <laughs> growing and then you've really got them looking their best as, yeah. they, as they might do in the wild. So this contains iodine, potassium, iron, yeah, all, all of those. The list goes on, yeah. you know, just to make sure you've got that working exactly as you want it to. Now, if you move on to the third element in their reef care programme is algae management. We all know algae can be a huge problem. Um, in the reef aquarium and we use whether it be hardware skimmers mechanical filtration chemical to control this red sea do produce a product which you might have heard called nopox but it's actually called no3 po4x so yeah. no3 being nitrate po4 phosphate and x is the removal of that and this is a liquid carbon dosing method to keep those elements in check now most aquariums you do want an element of nitrate and yeah, phosphate. Yeah, you, you need it in there for, again, as we were talking about colours, to give a little bit of colour to your uh, corals. As a nutrient They need source. a little bit of a nutrient source there. So you don't want it at zero, but that will definitely tie up with test kits and all everything else will tie into it and you can measure that and make sure that you're taking any excess away yeah. to stop the algae growing. We've done a really in-depth video on that or a more comprehensive video on that that we'll link uh, in this video so you can have a look at that and get more of an understanding. So once you've got your foundation levels and trace levels sorted, as well as your nutrient levels, so you've got everything under control, you're dosing the amounts that you want to dose, and you're getting good results, the next step is to move on to the Red Sea AB+, which is a, a coral food that they've produced that you can use to 
help. I mean, corals, they need photosynthesis, so they get a lot of their energy from the sun, from the lights in your aquarium, but they need that extra just to give them the extra color and the extra growth. So this is full of carbohydrates, um, fatty acids, amino acids, and it just gives those corals the extra boost that they need. As well as that, Red Sea also makes some reef spec carbons and a few other products like the Aptasia X and a few others as well, just to really fill out the catalog. That's it, yeah. So there's a complete program, yeah. reef care program that you can use. And as part of that program, the question that you often get, and we've touched on it a few times is, how much should I be dosing? Or a question that we often get, our customer service team get is, um, what should my levels be? Yeah. So again, Red Sea have produced something called Reef Care Recipes. Now, this is a pamphlet and you can pick it up here with us if you come to visit. But online, obviously, there's a great resource over on the Red Sea website, which we'll put a link on the screen in the description now. But it basically breaks down each element based on which type of aquarium you're yeah. keeping. So there's an ideal set of parameters and products that you should use from the reef care program for a mixed reef. There is an ideal set of parameters for uh, an LPS dominant system or a low nutrient system, or even just for a fish only yeah. system. Again, you don't want to be pumping all these elements in if you haven't even got corals. Nothing that's going to be using it, yeah. To use them. So again, Red Sea have got comprehensive literature on that, which we'll link to. And the reason we've kept this as an overview really is because they've also got real scientific videos yeah. explaining how each of these elements in their program work. So instead of rehashing that, we'll send you to the experts, the guys yeah. who produced it. So again, in the description below, we'll put links um, to all of those videos and, and those web links. And as always, if you want more information or you want to talk this over, get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help. Now, as I said, it is a brief overview, so hopefully that helped explain to you which products from the Red Sea range might be useful to you. So let's move on to the exciting part and see who's won our Reef Dose giveaway. So in our last video, introducing the new Reef Dose four head and two head dosing pumps, we gave all of our subscribers a chance to win this exact pump and accessory kit. Yep, so we have picked one lucky subscriber who also liked and commented on the video. And the winner of the Reef Dose and Pump and Accessory Kit is Mark Claxton. Congratulations to Mark. Uh, just reach out to us. Um, we'll reply to your comment yeah. on the video and we'll sort out getting your delivery details and we'll get this in the post to you. Now, as always, Thanks to everyone who commented and subscribes to being with a chance of winning. We'll be doing giveaways in the future, so make sure you keep watching. If you've got any questions on the Reef Care program that we've touched on in this video, as always, feel free to get in touch, um, contact the customer service team via the normal methods or on social media, and we'll be more than happy to help. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one. See ya.